Steel City, Hamilton, Ontario, home of the champs, the two-time reigning CPL champions, Forge FC, put it on the line again against Winnipeg-based Valor FC. The side for Bobby Smirnionis, unchanged for the third straight match. Why change a good thing, John? For Felipe Dos Santos and Valor, two changes made from the last defeat, which was last Friday at Pacific FC. Collected again, but Taron Campbell is right on it. Leaves to Danny Schwanier and a left foot hammer just wide. And Valor flirting with some early disaster. Samake getting his pocket picked early. One back briefly by Forge FC. Opportunity to collect Tonic Glue. Plays the ball in towards the middle. And the first nervous moment in front of Chris Colongo is two Valor FC forwards are there, but neither one could get a boot to it. Unfortunately, Valor is not able to get on the end of it or just miss it. Oh, clean opportunity. Does he go for goal? All right, whips it in, and Viscosi caught by surprise. Second opportunity. Been some friendly fire there with Ashtonote Janssen in front, but goes for another corner kick, and you were bang on. That one was close. No need to panic. It's still got a lot of time left. It's a team that knows they can take, take control of a game quickly. Unless they have it, they don't relinquish it, especially this year. Faria sends back another ball towards goal, and Vinate heads one on, and Colongo forced into another save. Duncan will move forward. Up over the top. The forge right back. Played in the middle. Campbell. The dangerous Taron Campbell has a step. Ball into the middle. Comes over to power. Stopped. Took maybe an extra touch, an extra step, and Viscosi recovers. Former Michigan Wolverine as well in the NCAA. Ball played into the middle, up and over, and Colongo. Fantastic stop, great reach, enough to deflect it over the bar. What a save by Colongo, late in the half. Would have been disastrous to give up a goal now. He makes a great parry. Are, are relieved to get your first points of the year on the road during this tough stretch of away games, and you build on it, you know, the progress. You mentioned about progress. That would be progress for me. Faria, speaking of progress, puts the ball in. The man wearing number nine, Jordan Swibble, was well, a couple of yards off the pace. Looks like the switch that they made there with Fetchinary coming out moved Dante Campbell into Fetchinary's spot in the back line. And Sanchez inserted to where Campbell was in the midfield. That back line might be tested here early as here comes Forge FC into the middle and it's in! Borges again! continues to show that quality, and there is the first icebreaker. And this man is hot to start 2024. Heads up to the rest of the league, because he's scoring goals almost at will to start the season. This left foot so good, picks out the corner. Sanchez, one of his first touches. Nate plays wide. Secunda, ball into the area. Swivel is there. Second opportunity. And Tanaglu plays to Faria. Oh, what quality! Equalizing goal. Faria in his return after suspension. Tucked in the corner, whipped in. Again, getting the ball wide. Good ball in the box. They're able to pounce on second balls. Jordan Faria gives Kalanga no chance. Tucking that far post. And the response from Valor back in this game. Plays forward, gorgeous. Eddie Bonga in the penalty area. Good ball forward, look out. This is a penalty. This is a penalty. Hansopoulos at the far post trips up his man, and he knows it. Benny Badibanga strikes off the post, off the outside of the post, and Valor stays level. 
Sanchez, Dante Campbell, Tonaglu, that left boot into the penalty area. Colongo just gets enough. What a stop, aided by the crossbar and Forge that close to going down one. Oh my goodness. What a reaction saved by Colongo into the box. Corner kick comes in, it's there, Colongo. Kick save off of Samake. If this game ends 1-1, everybody on Forge needs to go by Colongo something. Perhaps Kone can takes the ball away from Campbell. Amadou Kone into the penalty area. Plays it back. Jensen a drive. Yes! Jensen has the answer. 90th minute. Pitches the ball off Dante Campbell and penetrates to the goal. We just saw Jensen earlier take one from distance. He does it again from outside of the box. This time with his left foot. Drives it low and beats Viscozzi. What an effort by Kone as he just comes in the game. Dante Campbell for Valor will be disappointed in, in himself for losing the ball so easily. Surely this has got to be it. Sent forward, opportunity sent away. And that is it. Jensen, the winner in the 90th minutes, and Forge FC continue the club's best ever start.